My favourite foodie destination in my hometown is the Clove Club in the Shoreditch Town Hall. They do their own charcuterie, have fantastic cocktails, real kind of British ingredients, but with a modern um, international flavour. Okay, favourite foodie destination in the world, a little bit difficult to pick out one. I must say, when I was doing my cookbook, Rachel Koo's Kitchen Notebook, that I travelled to Istanbul for the first time, and that was amazing. Like some of the street food there, um, by the Bosphorus, there were these old guys, they were making um, these sandwiches with freshly grilled mackerel, so it was all caramelised and crispy, stuffed in with some crunchy cucumber and tomato salad, bit of herbs, pomegranate molasses cost almost next to nothing but just so fresh and vibrant. My favourite foodie destination in Australia is um, Melbourne. I love Melbourne actually. I've been overwhelmed with just the variety, the diversity of food. I mean you can find almost any kind of food in Melbourne and the quality is really good. The one book I always turn to when I'm looking for food inspiration is The Food Thesaurus. The reason being is it's just about matching different flavours together. So if I have, I don't know, uh, a pear in my fridge and I know some uh, endives or whatever, I look up in this book and it gives me lots of other things I could pair it up with and it just sparks off some ideas for recipes. I think the craziest thing I've ever eaten has to be jungle squirrel. So I was in Malaysia last year and I was filming this documentary for the BBC and we were filming in the jungle with the Orang Asli tribe and they had hunted um, a jungle squirrel, prepared it for me um, and it's a bit of a delicacy there so I couldn't refuse eating it. When they took it out of the pot it did look a little bit like a rat tasted more like a rabbit, just not much meat on it. I don't think I'll be doing squirrel recipes in my next cookbook. Ooh, the one food experience everyone must try, I think, um, is to go to Paris and to go to one of the fantastic fresh food markets, pick up some nice cheese, maybe some charcuterie, whatever, fruits or veggies in season, sit by the canal, crack open a nice bottle of wine and munch on all the little goodies you've got at the market. The book that changed my life, or one of the books that have influenced me, is a book by Judith Kerr, um, The Tiger Who Came to Tea. My mum used to read it a lot to me when I was a kid, and now I kind of rediscovered it as a grown-up um, because I love the illustrations, and as an illustrator, because I illustrate my own cookbooks, um, it's really interesting to see how other illustrators work. <laughs>